far far away in the middle of the beautiful terrains of ant kingdom asia there lies a place teeming with ants of different kinds this place which is full of ants of different species is fondly referred to as ant paradisica by the ant watcher towards the eastern part of this beautiful ant heaven called ant paradisica hidden among the grassy world lies the kingdom of the camponotus who have taken the title of opacibentris the camponotus opacibentris are not only super hard working ants but they also keep a strong watch around their nest the camponotus opacibentris are also good hunters and today two of them have hunted down a big sized beetle larva but as already told this place is full of ants and so while the camponotus opacibentris majors are busy with the beetle larva a fedele ant walker quietly sneaks in and runs away with what looks like a decapitated leg of the beetle larva the small fedele walker was no threat for this camponotus ants the instant real threat for this ants are in fact these tetraponera rufoligra ants foraging nearby and so while the camponotus opacibentris majors are busy in their effort to tear down the beetle larva a tetraponera warrior comes towards them drawn by the smell of the dead beetle larva however its first reaction on finding out the presence of the camponotus opacibentris majors is to run away but it soon seems to come out of its panic and returns back ready for the fight but the camponotus ants want no fight Their priority is the food. So one of the camponotus majors begins to pull the beetle larva away from the tetraponera soldier. The tetraponera soldier and her sister try to stop the camponotus opacibentris major. But the major manages to pull the beetle larva away from them. But unlike the fedele ant or the black crazy ants, the camponotus ants are not very efficient in carrying away big sized food. They like the fire ants instead break down the food into smaller pieces before carrying them away towards their nest and so after dragging the beetle larva a few feet away the camponotus opacibentris major again settles down and restarts its effort to tear down the body of the beetle larva into carryable sizes and yes the fedele walker is back again and so is the tetraponera rufo nigra soldier Oblivious to the presence of the other ants, each of the three hungry ants get busy in biting out a chunk of meat from the beetle larva. After some time, both the fedele walker and the tetraponera walker runs away on sensing the presence of the camponotus opacibentris major. only to reappear a few seconds later all this while the camponotus opacibentris walker is too focused in his effort to be aware of the things going around it but the moment it finds the tetraponera soldier before itself it attacks the tetraponera soldier and drives it away after a while the camponotus opacibentris major is joined by another of his kind and the two majors again get engaged in their goal of tearing down the beetle larva into smaller carryable pieces but the tetraponera soldier are still around and one of them quietly moves in to make an attack from above but its attack is quickly countered and the tetraponera rufo nigra soldier is again driven away but the second tetraponera soldier is still there taking stock of the situation and he quickly moves away from the area Soon after, a third camponotus opacibentris major joins the two major, making the control of the opacibentris ants more secure over the dead beetle larva. However, not very far away, two tetraponera warriors are marching in to challenge the claim of the opacibentris ants, and immediately a great fight starts between the two ant species. In this heated moment, the beetle larva gets left alone. And to everyone's surprise, a diagramma ant appears out of nowhere and starts to drag away the beetle larva towards its nest. 
Now just when it is looking like the diagrama ant will take away the beetle larva, the largest of the Campanatus opacity entries major returns back and retakes the beetle larva under its control again. Now though the diacama ant is really about the opacity ventris measures, it is not the one to give up on such nutritious food so easily. The fabulous worker is also running around looking for opportunity to steal the food of the opacity ventris ants. And so are the tetraconera rufoligra ants. But none of them are to be blamed. Every ant, every colony is hungry in the ant wall. All are searching for food and whoever is the strongest fastest and most intelligent will take away the food. The food belongs to anyone who is strong enough to take it in the wild wild world of ants. As for now, the Campanatus opacity ventris ants look the most strong contender to take away this food. However, the Campanatus opacity ventris has a challenger, the diacama ant which is also popularly known as the Asian bullet ants. Now though the diacama ants are not as aggressive as the opacity ventris ants and the name Asian bullet ants seem just an overrated interpretation of their stinging power, the diacama ants are highly efficient in dragging away food. And so the diacama ant not only starts dragging away the bitter larva but also the opacity ventris major along with it. But a dry bamboo scale on the way not only gives the opacity ventris ant the opportunity to have a strong grip on the ground but it also gives the opacity ventris major an opportunity to drive away the diacama ant along with a ferrule walker that had shown up. The opacity ventris major once again begins to drag away the beetle larva while the diacama ant keep on lurking around the beetle larva. The opacity ventris major is soon joined by his sister. But even in the presence of the two opacity ventris majors, the diacama ant continues to make several attempts to steal away the bitter larva. As already said, the diacama ants do not give up on food so easily. Finally, when the diacama ant sees a third opacity ventris major coming in, it finally decides to leave the place, maybe realizing that stealing food from three opacity ventris majors will be a task too difficult for it to handle. The true opacity ventris ants honestly continues in their effort of tearing down the lifeless body of the beetle larva. But the stretching heat of the sun has started to dry and toughen the skin of the beetle larva and the task is now more difficult than before. But in the presence of the three strong opacity ventris majors, no other ants dare to come near them for a while. But after a while, the fabulous walkers again begin to trouble the opacity ventris majors. But it is a risky game that the fabulous ants are playing. For just a single bite from the opacity ventris majors, leave them fatally wounded. And here, not one but many of them have been fatally wounded by the opacity ventris ants. But the fabula ants continue to sneak in and irritate the opacity ventris ants. Not only that, if you look at the far corner, it appears as if the fabula ants are also assembling their army for the attack. But while the fabula ants are busy in their effort, down below a Campanatus parius minor ant is slowly moving in towards the beetle larva. However, it is immediately driven away by one of the opacity ventris major. The Campanatus Parius walker takes a while but soon realizes that it is useless to challenge the more aggressive of their carpenter ant kind. And so it leaps. But as soon as the Parius minor leaps, a diacama ant, perhaps a different from the one that we have seen earlier, appears. The diacama ant starts to monitor the situation carefully, taking stock of the threat from the opacity ventris majors but with his eyes always on the beetle larva and as soon as it gets the opportunity it starts to run away with the beetle larva. Strangely, the opacity ventris majors do not make any major effort to stop the diacama ant this time. It is only when the diacama ant loses control and drops the beetle larva do one of the opacity ventris major retakes the control of the beetle larva. 
Now unlike other days, the sun today is too hot and the scorching heat of the sun has already dried and toughened the skin of the beetle larva after this many hours. The opacity ventris majors are trying their best to quickly bite through the skin of the beetle larva. But their efforts are just going in vain. So much so that the frustrated opacity ventris majors are leaving the place one by one. Until only one of the majors remain behind along with the beetle larva. Now this opacity ventris major looks adamant. It looks like it is not prepared to give up. But just then, oh my god, what is this? It is a Godzilla ant, a small sized major. And the opacity ventris major has just fled away on seeing the Godzilla major. The Godzilla ant starts biting the beetle larva crazily and fiercely chases away the Fedoni walker. Just then, the second opacity ventris major appears and starts biting the beetle larva. But as soon as it senses the presence of the Godzilla ant, it too immediately runs away. Now with the Godzilla ant interested in the beetle larva, no other ant, including the third opacity ventris major, is daring to establish their claim over the dead beetle larva. Even the Ishniki and the Corning Diagama ant do not want to take any chance before the Godzilla ant. The only ants that are daring to take any chance are the Fedoli ants. Now like every Camponotus ant, the Godzilla ants are also caused with the weakness in dragging away big sized food or objects. As such, even two small Fedoli walkers are being able to prevent the Godzilla ant from dragging away the beetle larva. Now the Godzilla ant is 10 times bigger than the Fedoli ants. It can kill the Fedoli ants just in a single bite. So the ant watcher is finding it quite strange as to why these Fedoli ants are looking so confident even though the other ants have just fled away. But the ant watcher soon finds the answer nearby. The red Fedoli ants army is coming. The Godzilla ant makes the first kill, a single bite of its deadly mandibles and we have a fatally wounded Fedoli walker struggling with pain. The Godzilla ant continues with its attack while more and more of the Fedoli ant warriors are coming towards the battlefield. And in no time, the Godzilla ant is attacked and forced to leave. But the Godzilla ant returns back again and tries to fight back. But the Fedoli ants are now just acting too aggressively and now there are just too many of them for the Godzilla ant to be able to fight them back. Now that the Godzilla ant is gone, the opacity ventris major, which was just waiting for the moment, silently sneaks in and tries to snatch away the beetle larva from the Fedoli ants. But it too is beaten fiercely and forced to run away. However, the Godzilla ant is not done yet. And for the next few minutes, the Godzilla ant tries to attack from every possible direction and pull away the beetle larva. However, now with the presence of the big-headed Fedoli major out there, and with the Red Fedele army guarding the beetle larva from all sides, it is now impossible for the Godzilla ant to even reach and touch the beetle larva. Finally, when the Fedele army begins to carry away the beetle larva, the Godzilla ant immediately starts to run away towards its nest, perhaps with an intention to bring back help. Now the Fedele ants know the might of the Godzilla ants. A big sized mature Godzilla and Major can quickly turn the tide of the battle in the opposite direction. So they speed up and quickly start to carry the beetle larva towards their nest. Now there are no potential challengers anywhere around and since the Fedele ants are super efficient in carrying big size loads, they carry the big size beetle larva smoothly even through the rough and the grassy terrain. Finally without much trouble, the Fedele ants army carries away the beetle larva into their nest. The Godzilla ant did return back along with its sisters. But they found nothing and had to return back frustrated without anything. After about four and a half hours of filming, 
the batteries of the ant watcher's camera went empty. And though he could not film the fiddly ants carrying the beetle larva into their nest, he is happy that he was able to film the fiddly or the big headed ants who were the ultimate winner of the great war between the ant species carrying away the beetle larva along with them.